Hi everyone, welcome to MLTMCQ and Notes. In this video, I am discussing about exam based points from medical entomology. It will be very useful for coming animal husbandry laboratory technician exam and other PSC exams. Entomology. What is entomology? Entomology is the science that deals with the study of insects and other species belong to phylum Arthropoda in relation to health and its control. Simply, it is the study of Arthropods. It is the science that deals with the study of Arthropods. Then Medical Entomology. It is a spe specialization that involves the study of arthropods that are medical. Simply, it is the study of medically important arthropods. Okay. Then, acarology. Acarology is the study of mites and ticks. Mites and ticks. Okay. Then, next. Transmission of arthropod bone disease. Transmission of arthropod bone disease can be classified into three. Direct contact, mechanical transmission, biological transmission. Direct contact means directly transferred from man to man through close contact. Directly transferred from man to man through close contact. Example, scabies and pediculosis. Scabies and pediculosis. Second one, mechanical transmission. It's transmitted by mechanically by vectors. Transmitted mechanically by vectors. Example, diarrhea, dysentery. Then third one, biological transmission. Biological transmission means disease agent undergoes developmental changes with or without multiplication in vectors. Disease agent undergoes developmental changes with or without multiplication in vectors. Biological transmission classified again into three. Three types of biological transmission. First one, propagative. Propagative, then cyclodevelopmental, then cyclopropagative. Propagative means only multiplication of the parasite takes place inside the vector. Only multiplication of the parasite takes place inside the vector. Example, Ersinia pestis in rat fleas. Ersinia pestis in rat fleas. Ersinia pestis causes plague. The rat flea is the transmission agent. Then cyclodevelopmental, which means only development of the parasite takes place inside the vector. Only development of the parasite takes place inside the vector. Example, Vucereria bancrofti in mosquitoes. Vucereria bancrofti in mosquitoes. Then cyclopropagative, that is multiplication and development both takes place inside the vector. Multiplication along with the development both takes place inside the vector. Example, Plasmodium species in mosquito. Plasmodium species in mosquitoes. Okay. So, transmission of arthropod disease classified into three. Direct contact, mechanical transmission, biological transmission. Direct contacts, example, scabies and pediculosis. Mechanical transmission, diarrhea and dysentery. Then, biological transmission, which again classified into three. Three types of biological transmission that are propagative, cyclodevelopment, cyclopropagative. Example for propagative is Ersinia pestis in rat flea in the case of plague. Then cyclodevelopmental, Vucereria bancrofti in mosquitoes. Then example for cyclopropagative is Plasmodium species in mosquitoes. Phylum Arthropoda traditionally classified into five classes. But the medically important classes are three that are Insecta, Arachnida, Crustacea. Insecta, Arachnida, Crustacea. Insecta is the largest class under phylum Arthropoda, which includes mosquitoes, 
house flies sand flies sissy flies black flies deer flies rat fleas sand fleas lice redwood bugs cockroaches flies and fleas are under the class insecta then mosquito also under the class insecta then arachnida which includes hard ticks soft ticks itch mite chiggers and scorpions hard ticks soft tick itch mite chiggers and scorpions crustacea which includes cyclops crabs crayfish crustacea includes cyclops crabs crayfish so the important classes are insecta arachnida crustacea insecta includes flies and fleas then mosquito then bugs and cockroaches arachnida includes ticks and mites then scorpions then crustacea includes cyclops crabs crayfish moving to next we know that arthropods acting as a vectors in transmission of medically important human diseases arthropod acting as vectors in transmission of medically important human disease a table is given here based on the name of arthropods and their transmitting diseases the table will be easy for you to study first one mosquito which transmit parasitic infections like malaria bangroftian filariasis malayan filariasis anopheles transmit malaria then a wide range of mosquitoes can transmit the parasite filaria depending on the geographic area in africa the most common vector is anopheles and in the america it is culex then aedes and mansonia can transmit the infection in pacific and in asia then mosquito transmit viral infections are yellow fever dengue fever chikungunya japanese encephalitis rift valley fever onyongnyo western and eastern equine encephalitis almost all viral infection transmitted by aedes mosquito such as dengue fever yellow fever chikungunya and zika virus okay A mosquito-borne bacterial infection has not yet been identified. A mosquito-borne bacterial infection has not yet been identified. Then second one sand fly. Sand fly transmit parasitic infection like Kalazar and Oriental sore. Kalazar and Oriental sore. Then viral infection sand fly fever. Sand fly fever. then bacterial infection oroya fever oroya fever oroya fever caused by bartonella bacilliformis kalazar and oriental sore which caused by leishmania then third third one deer fly which causes parasitic infection loiasis 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 caused by loa loa deer fly is the transmitting agent fourth one cc fly which transmit sleeping sickness that is african trypanosomiasis caused by species trypanosoma brucei cc fly which include glossina species then fifth one black fly which causes ongosarcosis which causes ongosarcosis ongosarcosis other name is river blindness river blindness which caused by parasitic worm ongosarca volvulus ongosarca volvulus so sand fly causes kalazar oriental sore viral infection like sand fly fever and oroya fever then deer fly causes loiasis and cc fly causes sleeping sickness that is african trypanosomiasis then black fly causes ongosarcosis that is river blindness then next sixth one house fly which is a mechanical vector 
parasitic infection like amebiasis and helminthiasis. House fly transmit parasitic infection like amebiasis and helminthiasis. Viral infection like poliomyelitis, poliomyelitis. Then bacterial infection like typhoid fever, paratyphoid fever, cholera, trachoma, use. Cholera, trachoma, use. Seventh one, rat flea. Xenopsilla cheopsis. Which causes parasitic infection, Hymenolepis diminuta and Hymenolepis nana. Then bacterial infections like a bubonic plague and endemic typhus. Bubonic plague and endemic typhus. Housefly transmit amoebiasis, helminthiasis, poliomyelitis, typhoid fever, paratyphoid fever, cholera, trachoma and use. Rat flea transmit hymenolepis diminuta and hymenolepis nana. Then bacterial infections like bubonic plague and endemic typhus. Then eighth one, cockroach. That is also in a mechanical vector like housefly, which transmit the parasitic infection like amoebiasis, helminthiasis, viral infection, hepatitis, and poliomyelitis. Bacterial infection, enteric pathogen causing infections. That is E. coli causing infection, Salmonella, Shigella, Vibrio, etc. Then ninth one, Redwood bug, which causes Chagas disease. Also called American Trypanosomiasis, caused by the parasite Trypanosoma cruzi. Then tenth one, Laos, that causes parasitic infection like ectoparasitic infection. Then bacterial infections like relapsing fever, epidemic typhus, trench fever. Relapsing fever caused by Borrelia recurrentis. Louse bone relapsing fever caused by Borrelia recurrentis. Epidemic typhus also called louse bone typhus which caused by bacteria rickettsia provasiki. Trench fever caused by Bartonella cundana. Bartonella Kundana. Then 11th one, hard to take, which causes parasitic infection, babesiosis. Babesiosis. Then viral infection, viral encephalitis, viral fever, viral hemorrhagic fever. Then bacterial infection, tularemia, tick typhus. Tularemia and tick typhus. Tularemia is a rabbit fever. Tularemia is a rabbit fever caused by bacterium Francisella tularensis. Francisella tularensis. Uh, so, the cockroach, which is a mechanical vector, causes amoebiasis, helminthiasis. Then, viral infection, hepatitis, and poliomyelitis. Then, enteric pathogenic infections. Ninth one, redwood bug, which causes Chagas disease, that is American trypanosomiasis. Then Laos, which causes ectoparasitic infection, and relapsing fever, epidemic typhus, and trench fever. Then hard to take, which causes babesiosis, viral encephalitis, viral fever, viral hemorrhagic fever. Then tularemia and tick typhus. Then twelfth one, soft tick, which causes, which transmit bacterial infection like Q fever and relapsing fever. Q fever caused by Coxiella barnetti and relapsing fever caused by several species of bacteria, Borrelia family. Then thirteenth one, thrombiculate mite, which transmit scrub typhus and rickettsial pox. Scrub typhus and rickettsial pox. Scrub typhus caused by bacteria Orientia susugamushi. Rickettsial pox caused by bacteria Rickettsia akari. Then 14th one, itch mite which causes scabies. Scabies. 15th one, cyclops which transmit the parasitic infection Drachenculiasis. Drachenculiasis. Then Triphylobotriasis. Nathostomiasis, Nathostomiasis.
then sixteenth one crabs and crayfish which transmit parasitic infection paragonomiasis paragonomiasis so twelfth one soft tick thrombiculid mite soft tick which transmit bacterial infection, Q fever and relapsing fever. Then thrombiculid mite, which transmit scrub typhus and rickettsial seal pox. Then itch mite, which transmit the parasitic infection, scabies, cyclops, draconguliasis, typhilobotriasis, nathostomiasis. Then crabs and crayfish, which transmit paragonomiasis. So the important it is it is an important table. Mosquito, sand fly, deer fly, cc fly, black fly, house fly, rat fly, cockroach, red bug, red bug, louse, hard tick, soft tick, thrombiculid mite, itch mite, cyclops, crabs and crayfish. We have talked about almost every medically important arthropods. Only one more week left for the exam, so study well. All the best. Thank you.